Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna. Today we are in the city center in the heart of Benidorm and we'll be showing you the authentic, the best chicken, roast chicken in the entire Benidorm town. And of course, we're talking about the famous chicken place El Puente. Incredible place by the bridge of the avenue Emilio Ortuño 12 here in Benidorm town that has been open for at least 40 to 50 years here in Benidorm. It was one of the first ones and it's an iconic establishment. They specialize, by the way, on roast grilled chicken, traditionally made with no major... Uh, condiments with not too much salt in it exactly how the things were done decades ago and uh, all these service the quality of food probably it's what makes locals and tourists come back to this place this right here on the top is el puente bar restaurant specialized on roast uh, chicken they don't even have a website they don't have fancy decoration but trust us when we say it is the best chicken in the whole entire benidorm town my husband is supposed to get us a table uh hopefully he's here yep we have a table guys let's sit down and let's wait for our meals this is how the place looks like they show you for a takeaway prices which are slightly more because they include um, all the boxes and bags and then inside you have a few tables around eight tables alioli all the typical drinks alioli is a garlic mayo very delicious by the way the bar the tortilla and different types of snacks plus the takeaway window where you can get everything that you want including peppers grilled peppers of padron they're like italian long peppers and much more we have taken the starting part which is drinks we got one coca-cola zero and then a slightly bigger bottle of water this is a non-sparkling one just a typical water for one person but we'll share it probably and this is what the outside table looks like meanwhile you can see how many people are arriving right on the right side is where the traditional city center is the way to the old town the tapas alley we are sitting outside and people just do not stop arriving it is insane it's one after the other non-stop drinks food snacks and it's full there's this one was literally the last table that we were able to get nothing else is available and people are just waiting for a table to start we've gotten ourselves half chicken each one of us because that's like the minimum that they ask one is with oven baked potatoes the other one is with french fries and then we got a side salad for one uh, plus bread with alioli let's check it out this is bread with some alioli alioli is a mayo with garlic delicious spanish authentic spanish specialty we almost always accompany it where on these types of occasions whenever we eat paella or any other meals it's like a pre-snack like an entree um before the main courses will start and this is how you more or less eat it you can open the bread or just put it on the top and it's delicious here we have bread with some alioli let's try it out This is Spanish paradise. The alioli is just perfect. All people here are Spanish, by the way. We've not seen any international tourists here. Maybe just one table. The rest are Spanish. There is a reason for it because it's not such a fancy place, you know, it's not. People just pass through and say, oh, it's not going to be good. But it's actually totally incredible. That's why so many Spanish come here, because they know what it's all about. While we're having our bread with alioli, we can see people changing constantly, non-stop. There is around um, six to seven tables on the inside, uh, right at the bar. There is restrooms right there also, very important thing. There are toilets here and restrooms to clean up your hands. And then we have around four 
to five tables here on the outside which is not a lot either there is a, not a lot of room here on the corner but still people keep coming as you can see no luxury here just a typical spanish place but people don't mind it people don't care because this place already has its reputation uh, since it specializes on roast chicken you can see just spinning out there non-stop the smell on the street is absolutely incredible and the average uh, points that it gets everywhere online is between four and a half and five stars the maximum here we have the uh, salad already with a salad if you remember this is one ration only okay so this is only just for one person we're gonna share it uh, because it's more than enough for us we put some olive oil on top generous olive oil then we open up the vinegar which is white wine vinegar and we put a little bit on top too you can put more if you like it i'm not such a big fan so it's just the tiniest drops on top of the salad it has some asparagus tuna obviously some eggs some corn tomatoes lettuce um, onion a lot of the times and the marinated carrots this is a typical salad you'll find everywhere the food just arrived so we're gonna move some plates here to make some space this is my hubby's one half chicken and he has oven baked potato just look at that potato oh, it looks delicious with some alioli sauce that is incredible and i have fries which also look like handmade french fries we usually eat the salad with um the extra virgin olive oil and with some vinegar of white wine vinegar and with some salt this is what it looks like this is a typical house salad how we do it here in spain and it's very popular in a lot of typical authentic spanish places it is very good and now the chicken just arrived we've asked for some more eggs for some gravy because they they do not bring it usually unless you ask for a gravy on top of it but it's just recently made they are doing the chicken right now people are waiting because they're being finished it's non-stop work just look at how insane it looks like right now this is absolutely insane there's insane amount of movement of people out here non-stop absolutely non-stop we've seen a couple of um tourists i suppose that were coming with mobility scooters right here they were trying to pass and people were trying to stop them and basically say that there is nowhere to go but they had to go to up to an end to realize that there is no going down from this street uh, so be careful if you go with a mobility scooter here there's no way of going down it's just staircase uh, like stairs uh, steps you're not able to go down with a mobility scooter you need to take one street before to the right to actually get down and while we see all of this we're gonna try out the uh, chicken as you can see it looks pretty simple chicken but the crust on this chicken is absolutely incredible and the smell of it it is absolutely fresh we see them constantly putting the chicken on there for a grill and the meat is really tender it's juicy which is very rare in these cases if you're not careful it's gonna be dry very very fast here we have some gravy which is a broth i'll explain to you in a second some broth which is like a natural juice that's coming out of chicken they are just putting it on top to make it extra juicy i personally love the skin i know it's not the healthiest thing to do to eat the skin uh but sometimes we don't eat it as often and sometimes it's fine this is like a guilty pleasure <laughs> they brought us some more concentrated gravy this time then there's also like a ketchup sauce i'm not sure what is it it's not a barbecue one but it's not a ketchup it's like a mixed ketchup sour sauce i don't know uh then we have the fries the it's like hand cut handmade fries 
also in the oven. Very, very good. We're enjoying it today. This is absolutely incredible. We've asked for some, it's not a gravy, it's like a very, very rich broth. Like the, the juice, you know? And um, we've got it, yeah. It looks like this, and inside you have a broth. And it's actually very, very good. And the chicken is so tender that it's absolutely incredible. This is definitely the number one. We still, it has been for a long time, and it still is. Only the line. 11 people are waiting. All the tables are full. This is the best place. The operations are great. You're in the middle of the city. Definitely our personal favorite. What we've seen today basically is that this business is really, really simple. That's the key to its success probably. Uh, it has a very cozy type of family style, fast, fast style. You just come here comfortably uh, with your family, with your friends, with loved one by yourself. You get the food, you enjoy it, and then just continue with your life. The attention to detail especially, and the quality of the ingredients, I suppose, um, is one of the most important things while pe why people repeat the visit to the El Puente bar. Uh, it's open the whole entire day from 8 in the morning up until 11 at night. This is insane. They also do, I think, catering because I've seen it somewhere on online that they were doing caterings, but mostly they're working here non-stop on the takeaway and to eat here. Since there's not a lot of tables, many people prefer to get a takeaway and eat it at the hotel's room, in the apartment, back home as well, and it's a great option. As you can see here, French fries, 230, a ration in case you get it for a takeaway, 295, a salad, and then the chicken is around 5 euros and 60 cents, half chicken, to get it as a, a takeaway. Entire one probably is around 12 euros more or less, uh, or 11 euros. And then you have pimientos uh, del padrón, which are the peppers, green peppers that are grilled. They're absolutely tasty. You have to try these out if you will be here somewhere. You can also get those for a takeaway too. And um, in general, they don't have a website, they don't have social media, but everyone know them. Here we have the receipt of what we've paid today. It's 35, 75, would have been 11 euros less because we've got a chicken to take away, so it's 11 euros more. 24 euros for two people for a salad, two half chickens with potatoes, bread with alioli, uh, drinks like Coca-Cola and water is actually very very good deal nicely priced this is the el puente bar here the bridge bar which specializes on the roast chicken and typical spanish food such as pimientos eh, del padron there are fries uh, grilled potatoes like baked potatoes there's tortilla, there is freshly baked oven bread, like baguettes. There is a lot of things that are available right here. We've spent $35.75 as you could have seen, but that is because we've got an extra grilled chicken for our daughter for and my mom because it was absolutely stunning. It was incredible quality meal. And uh, definitely I would dare to say that once again, it won the number one place in the whole entire Benidorm town. We've never ever seen a place with a better, um, not such a hard or not such a dry chicken than this one. It is absolutely incredible. So if you will be here, try it out. They do understand English and some other languages. If not, you can just show them what you want and that's not going to be an issue. The bar we've left it behind it's in the heart of Benidorm from 8 in the morning towards 11 at night wow they must work a lot of hours but definitely it's worth it the business has been here for decades and decades and we just got the other chicken right here it's been here for decades for a reason and that's because it is the best what really hard to compete with this 
have my husband here. I'm gonna ask him if he did enjoy it. Did you like the chicken? Yeah. He's not a very loud speaker, but you can definitely say he loved it. It wasn't dry at all. The service is great. They're working non-stop, but they were fast. Definitely, definitely a great place where to go for a quality food. Maybe it's not the fanciest place in the world. Obviously, it's an authentic Spanish place, but this is where usually the best food hides. Thank you for accompanying us on today's short video from Benidorm Town discovering authentic best chicken in Benidorm Town. Bye, Dees.